Starting with Salt Lake City, um, Re Reunion Part 3, okay, Bermuda, basically, don't mind that sound, sorry, um, so, in this episode, we basically talk about, uh, the She Who Must Not Be Named, um, and Reality Von Blank, and Monica. Okay, so, top of the episode, I think we start by, like, you know, Mary's still here, so we're just talking about how, you know, Mary is rude as hell, and they were like, and was like, you know, oh, I'm scared of you, Mary, because I don't know what's going to come out of your mouth, and granted, Mary is, she's mean, you know, she, she's not mean, but she says, like, mean things, and she's just kind of like, you know, but, like, you're on the same, like, time, like, Lisa, you just said her, not just her, but you, like, you saw the things she said about you, the things she said about Mary, the things she'll say to people to their faces. Um, you, you told Heather, F you, Heather, because you, because you are any chance she gets. Like, Angie's calling, uh, uh, Monica all sorts of, you know, lowbrow rats and, and, and out of the fucking this and that and the third. Like, I, like, I get it, Mary's mouth is not nice, but it's, to me, it's not worse than the rest. So, like, you can't use this, oh, I, you know, oh, but yeah, more I'm scared of what you might say. Because in that case, I should be scared of what all these bitches might say. But anyway, I digress. Um, they finally get Mary to go off in it. Um, they bring up uh, the, the, the black eye that has lasted two damn whole entire seasons. I mean, two entire seasons. Um, like, it was from, like, the, pr the preview of, of the last season all the way through to it being, like, the finale of the whole entire day. Like, it was two entire seasons over this one black guy. Um, obviously, because, you know, Heather kind of do it out of the way she did. But I think she did a great job of explaining um, why she did what she did. So, you know, she's basically saying she was afraid of, like, Jin saw the retaliation. Um, and, you know, she was, like, you know, under investigation and all that. And, like, the thing that I'm, like, I was kind of wrapping my head around this reunion is, like, okay, they low-key probably do have, like, some sort of, like, PTSD or post-traumatic stress, I should say. Um, because, like, I forget, like, that they really, like, thought Jen was like their friend and they treated her as a friend and they like trusted her and everything and so then to find out this person you thought was your friend was like scamming this whole time and then like lying to you about it um, and then like as we go on we see like the way that she talks to people and the way she treats people and so they probably like felt that they were in too deep at a certain point and just like didn't know what to do um and it's kind of like uh, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm gonna leave it in an empathetic place. I'm just gonna move on. Um, but no, it was crazy. Like, like the way they framed it. Like, like she literally, like, yeah, she was making jokes and stuff. But like, it, you can't. That's not a good joke to make. Cause I kind of realized like the think about the effect that it could have had on production um like oh don't work with this crew because you might end up with a black eye you know what i mean like i never thought of it that way and i feel like a lot of people did it but the way that they made it seem on the show and like the way, how serious they took it i could see how it um would have that effect so like oh damn that's true that's tough um and it's almost like you threw you threw everybody else under the bus to protect Jin Shaw. but like again i you know, it, I think it was kind of, you know, Stockholm Syndrome-ish. That being said, they did not show Miss Monica the same forgiveness. And I get it. The difference is, and I think this is what, like, Andy and, like, some people might not get, is, like, 
Monica's whole entire existence was like fraudulent. Like she knew she was this person this whole entire time and didn't say anything. Like that to me creeps me out. And like they said, like with Jinshaw, like they trusted her like she was like an actual friend. And then it turns out she was like a fraud. And like not only a fraud, but like a scammer. And like stealing people's money, you know? And so like so like that's already hard enough. And so like if if like if your whole thing up to this point has been a lie and I don't even have like a tie to you, like we're not even friends like that outside of what you've given me this season, like everything you told me so far is a lie. What 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 incentive is there to try to build a friendship? Like that's why I, like I get they're all like, no, like no, we don't wanna we don't wanna talk, we don't wanna hang with her, we don't wanna film with her. No, she's she's done. And I agree, I'm like you can't like aside from the stuff that the that the page said and did it's the fact that you ran a page talking about these women and then didn't tell them this whole time you're sitting there breaking bread he hacked like a cat you're at Angie's house you're all on vacation together and meanwhile you are behind an account that has harassed them <laughs> and or sent harassment their way for a long time so like even like let's say like Monica didn't think what she did on that account was was bad it's still so freaking weird to not say anything like if she didn't think all the best she'd be like oh yeah girls you know that you know that really about these account yeah that was me yeah I made that to expose Jen and then they could have been like oh my god blah 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 blah, blah. you know but to just not say anything is to me what makes it like scary now she made a good point the problem is she she, she something is you know happening up there and it's kind of scary to think about so I don't try to think about it too much but she did make a good point when she was like you know Heather's way of coping was to like suppress everything and my way of coping was to like let it all out and like I get that like she she got me a little bit with this with this episode like I get the idea of like you work for somebody and you think like you know you're like a friend and like slash employee whatever whatever and then you find out oh, holy they're doing all this and then I'm and then I'm sure she became complicit at some point and then she was then she probably like realized like okay no this is this is really not okay I shouldn't be doing this and then she had to overcompensate and so in order to like overcompensate for whatever part she played in it she was like got to take Jen down for, you know, th as hard as I can, because not only did she do that to these people, she also made me do things to these people, or she also made me contribute in some way to, to you know, harming these people. And so, like, I, I think that's really where it comes from, is that she, but at the same time, that's not, like, that's one thing, but then to like come on this show and like yeah I was a gender sister I turned her into the FBI yeah I, 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 I cheated on my husband with his brother yeah I or not I don't know if, well, I don't think it was I think it was his, like his brother's I think it was her husband's sister's husband I think regardless um you know, and so she's, and so it's like, no, y y you like the attention and you like the, the, the attention of it all. And like seeing the relationship between her and mother, it's like, okay, well, yeah, she didn't, she didn't get any from, you know, the person you expect to give you the most attention gives you, not even gives you no attention, but almost like, it's like gives you negative attention. Like, she leaves you, abandons you, and really the only attention you get from her is when she's, like, talking down at you. So, like, I think Monica was desperate to do whatever she wanted to get some sort of attention. I think she felt like she had to overcompensate for the role that she played in this fraudulent scam and scheming ass thing. Because I don't think that she was just this innocent bystander who set up for rights. Um, you know, I 
I think she knew what was going on for a while. Just like she was at, at the store with that lady who was stealing. Um, and Monica, we see she lies. So I think it's all intertwined and complicated, but I'm with them. Uh, the rest of the cast, when they're like, no, bye, bye, sister. Out of here. Because they don't have to, you know, like they say, it's just toxic and unnecessary. Like they're, they're trying to leave Ginja behind. The lady's in jail. They're like, okay, we're done. And then this person comes in and like drops this whole bomb on them. Like that is emotionally like draining. And while we have you back so we can all, you know, sit around and hug and, and, you know, have Jinsha Anonymous. Like, no, uh, there was a way you could have did that, but you chose to go a crazy way. Um, not crazy as in like, I just meant like crazy, like in a wild way, like that's, you know, outlandish. I don't think so. Who is coming home and, and like, why is this garage going up and down so many times? Um. What else? And she told uh, Monica about herself. And then Monica was like, did you just call me a brown rat? And then, we're like, you know, it's like, okay, sister, safe. And like, now, now, now we're reaching. Um, I, like, I know you were against the ropes. I know it's not looking good for you. But you know that's not what that lady said. Um, Angie Kay's impersonation of Meredith, what I literally shouted. I yelped, and I had to, and I had to rewind, <laughs> and I had to rewind it. There was no way this garage is going up and down this many times. Thankfully, you won't hear. But um, a car just honked, like blared its honk. So I guess I don't know what I was talking about, but I guess we have to move on. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, no, Angie's birth personation. Hilarious, hilarious, hilarious. It was better than Andy's. <laughs> she literally just slurred a bunch of sounds. It, it was funny. And Meredith was a good sport about it. Um, and that was fun. And I think they now that they have a new common enemy, that Angie K and Meredith might be able to get over some of their issues. Because they can just kind of, you know, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Um, but yeah, I hope like for their sake that like next season is just like a regular show you know like they already had the gigantic scandal arrest and they had to go through like the trial and everything and then this season was you know ended up being it, it was like it was fun it was like yeah we're having a good time it was great everybody was like starting to get along and then it's stained by the reality of Auntie's thing and I don't want this show to become like it needs some big scandal to make this season worth it because to me it, it's a gag fun obviously but like I have fun without that and like what Heather said like it shouldn't be like a requirement of the job like to be you know traumatized uh, like yeah they're like a bunch of rich you know people on, on the television show and, and designer and, and but they're all you know they're still human and I watch it to be entertained but not for them to like be destroyed which is kind of like can you have one without the other I think yes I think I don't contribute nothing well I don't think I contribute anything uh, like I mean it's not true I guess I was going to say negatively I talk about them on my on, you know on, on YouTube to you know a hundred people um, but that is nothing in comparison to what you know they do on the show um I'm not like bull, I'm not in their mentions like die. You know what I mean? I can't even. First of all, I would never do that. I'm editing that out. I don't want YouTube to come for me. <laughs> and I, I'm not in their mentions. You know, like attacking and harassing them. So, uh, my point is, don't let Monica back next season. It's not worth it. The drama's not worth the. Their livelihoods. Um, I think Heather. I I I think she she understands the effects of her actions. I was gonna say she needs a little consequence, but I think she understands what she did wrong, and she explained why she did it. And I think we're, and she apologized um, on camera and everything. So I feel like we're good there. Uh, lesson learned. Upward and onward. Um, so we're gonna hop on the plane and we'll 
Mosey on down to uh, Potomac. Um, I think I'm like, this garage, there's no way. There must be like a car stuck in it that they can go up and down over and over again. There is no way. Okay. Um, Potomac, uh, yeah, I think I'm like, I don't think I talked about the episode before last. Um, but we're just going to be brief, hilarious as always. Um, Juan is still cheating, acting like he's not. Um, but he's also acting like, you know, girl, if, if I am such a business, yeah, I don't, I don't care what, about what you have to say. Um, Candace is messy as hell for throwing a Mother's Day brunch, knowing good and well what was going on with, with Wendy's mama. Like, all of a sudden, you want to throw a Mother's Day brunch when there's when there's tension between the mothers and the cast members. Interesting. I did appreciate how she invited um, Ashley and her mom. Even though her confessional about it was rude. Um, what else? Is there a Something's happening outside with this garage. I hear voices. Real ones, not like in my head. Um, although, um, so yeah, that was a mess. Let's see. I liked um, when Raven, Raven, yeah, actually, Raven and, and Grace and Giselle and and uh Karen with that one to the lunch that talked about college and stuff that was cute um what else Robin and, and uh oh girl and Candace sat down Candace is not she's not there's something's happening this is karma to, like at 7.30pm I was going to record the video earlier today cause I was homesick and I watched um I finished watching Catching Up on Housewives at like 12.31 p.m. And I was like, no, no, no. Last time I recorded during the day, catastrophe. Okay, so I'm going to wait until at least, you know, half past sundown. But I waited longer than that. It's 7.30. Why is there so much commotion outside? Anyway. Um, yeah. somebody and like a grown woman or like a grown person a grown adult I'm friends with somebody I'm not gonna go I'm like the internet and be like how come this bitch get to do that and that's not fair to me and this bitch is that and I don't like that and this bitch's husband is doing that and and it's like that's and, and then to like act like well girl what's wrong what did I do that's crazy I think Robin like I th- like I think Robin like actually considered Candace a friend and so like if it was like you know like Mia or like Karen who was going around doing it it's one thing cause it's like you're, you know they don't really like me like that you know they're just being shady it is what it is we got a show to sell but like if you were like supposed to be my friend how, why are you doing all this behind what's happening personally in my life and I get that like that was weird and then Candace won't apologize and she keeps deflecting. She was saying, well, you did this and how come I can't feel this way? Like she did, it's, I, I have yet to hear. Maybe she did a long time ago and I forgot, but recently I have not heard her say, you know what, I shouldn't have done that. I'm sorry. Or, you know what, I did do that and, and, I, and, I, and I know why I did it. And I don't disagree with myself, but I also see how that was hurtful to you. And then from there, you say, I'm sorry, or say, but I wouldn't change it. And then go from there. Like, that's, like you, you, you hold yourself accountable and then face the music. You can't, like, not fess up to it and not hold yourself accountable. And then also not face the music. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can say, hey, yeah, I did that. And then be like, and I meant it, so where do we go? Or be like, yeah, I did that. That wasn't right. I'm sorry. But she's doing neither of those things. She's saying, um, she goes, well why, well, why can't I do that? Well, you did this. 
and, and, and you did this. And speaking of that, you also did this. And you're friends with this person. And they did this. And it's like, sister, I want you to sit here and say, yeah, I did bash you and your husband on the internet. And this is my response to that. And I'll do it again. Or and that was in poor taste. But she won't do that. And they can't move forward until she does that. And I'm with Robert. I'm like, and, and like on the flip side, like if you think these things about me, why would you want to be my friend? Like that's weird. Like if you think that, like if you think it's so horrible for me to be friends with somebody like Giselle, and you want to be friends with me, what does that say about you? <laughs> if you, you know, think that I would go to, you know, I would collude with people to to try to take your husband down. Why would you want to be friends with me? And so I got a with Robin. It's like either like, like one, I'm cool because you don't respect me. You don't talk about me like you respect me. And then two, you don't trust me. So I don't want friends who I can't trust or respect. So I also don't want friends who can't trust or respect me. Boots. Um, so we're just going to bounce right let's see i feel like there's been uh mia she she opened up a lot like the week the episode before last and that was heartwarming and touching and everything um her and and jacqueline i think you know a lot's happened there i feel like that's none of our business i feel like when filming is done they might try to rekindle but right now they're, they're i think they're both kind of you know adding fuel to the fire um, but I don't know. It seems it, like I don't want to talk about it because I, I just don't know enough. Um, Charisse is, is she's not going anywhere. She's I'm, I'm gonna be in any scene I can by any means necessary. Um, I feel like Candace's mom is doing a better job this season of minding her business. I like that. Um, Wendy keeps getting caught lying down. Um, mom said, "Well, girl." Well, yes, there's a shrine, but not that kind of shrine. Mama said, uh, girl, my life was not in danger. It was an elective surgery. And Louis said, well, I don't know about when you call me. Okay, so I get a complication from my elective surgery. <laughs> like, it's, you know, same thing with Wendy. Wendy it's, like, it's, your, it's your mom, so I get it, but also like sister. Don't lie to us. You say, yeah, she's got a shrine. That's her business, you know, and, and move on. Because um, it just keeps getting worse. And when you lie about things to cover it up, it seems even worse than it probably actually is. Um, we're just going to take a quick dive into marriage and medicine because all this noise is irritating me. And it's late, I'm tired and I'm sick. Uh, marriage and medicine is just always one of my favorites. And this past episode reminded me why. Um, you know, I think, I feel like it's, it's, started with like you know they're just having conversations about you know their lives and fertility and all that I feel like it started with, started with a little bit of mess but maybe not but it was I, just, I don't know I love the show it's to me it's so it's so like positive and informative and funny and ratchet and like it has all of it there was like a segment like like they always talk about you know them as like mothers and like parents and like raising their kids and stuff so it's really sorry let me slow down it was cool to see it was being cool to see like Simone and, and Cecil like move the, the two boys into like their own condo and like hear them talk about that and like you know how they've worked hard and, and like I don't know I find like it's amazing like as like a parent to be able to like give your kids a home is wild and like so they get to like stay there and, and be somewhere safe and nice that has like a minute like you know like I don't know if people realize how much stress that takes off of them like they have like a home that is nice and like like you don't have to worry about you know how am I going to pay this next bill you don't worry about ooh I got to go take my laundry down to the laundromat you don't got to worry about um, you know ooh my heat's not working you know it's just this I don't know I love that for them I really really do um, and I love that they 
you know, keep going over it. And they seem to have a lot, a lot, a lot of fun as a family. Um, but I loved this uh, episode, like when they were showing all the doctors doctoring, like they showed um, Heavenly and T.S. Madison. And, you know, I think it's all, that's always cool because you get to see them like at work. Um, and I always love seeing T.S. Madison, so that was a win-win. Um, and then Jackie was <laughs> just so Olympic. They must have paid. Uh, they must. No. So the way I was looking at it, because like I wasn't even thinking about it from like a promotional standpoint, which probably could be. They probably did pay. Uh, but it was also was like this is something that's like common and going on. This is a hot topic. People have been talking about Olympic left and right. So you know, we're doctors, let's talk about it on a national platform to, you know, speaking, you know, specifically to black women, um, and, and let them know, like, what it is and what's happening, what it's about and all that, and, like, I learned a lot, because I don't know, I just keep hearing about it, I thought it was, like, skin medication at first, um, and then, you know, I kept, like, then I heard it was, like, for, like, weight loss, but this episode, they explained it, but, like, I didn't know, like, Simone had said that, it's, it's for di patients with diabetes and like patients are people with diabetes and like since people are taking it for weight loss now like the supply is is so diminished that like people who have diabetes and actually get the medication are having trouble getting access to it <laughs> but then she was like but if I got fat I, I would she said if she got which I didn't like that but Jackie's really problematic with that too but that's a separate situation for a separate day um, but she was like yeah if she had gained weight again she would do it <laughs> um, so yeah they also shot that PSA about like um, um, the maternal mortality rate for black women I think like it was like 75% of like childbirth related death are of black women it was crazy I'm pretty sure 75% which is like I, like I couldn't even like wrap my head around it and I'm still like I still like need, need to go like look it up but I you know you always hear how bad it is but 75% considering like the population like it, that is wild so I think that was important that they showed that was a good idea um what's her name the, the new the newest cast member not sweet tea but the other one her husband the husband who's from nigeria he's got a long he's got another thing coming he's got a long way to go and that's not my business but but he is he yeah. lord have mercy um and the other men are like you know very much evolved you know so they're like uh no like, you know, most of them are married to doctors in Toya, who was a very strong-willed woman. Um, and I, 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 I love Toya. And I used to not want to, because I think I used to like, like, Mariah and Quad. Um, and you know Toya, she does say a lot of things that are like, mm. But I actually like her a lot. I think she's like, when it comes to the show, she's like the most honest and the most like, I don't want to say the most honest, I mean, because they're all, not that I will, most of them are actually pretty honest. But I just always feel like she doesn't hold back and she's like always like taking us through her life. But that also could be because she doesn't have like scenes of her going into surgery and stuff. You know what I mean? Like a lot of the times the doctors, they have scenes like at work and I told you, I mean, she had like we, we went to the winery thing and we and they show her, you know, like being a mom. Um, because again, full time job. So I think a lot of her, she also gets a lot of like, I don't know, I feel like whenever she talks about her relationship and stuff, it's very open and honest, but that's all of them, I guess. I don't know, but I like her. I like that she's like, yeah, girl, like she likes, I like, I like rich bitch stuff. That's fine. Um, she's like, yeah, I'm not a doctor. That's fine. I'm raising these kids, but I'm also a businesswoman and I love it. Um, so sorry, I've been sick. They snuck her on so bad. Like, 
they didn't even try. She's dating this foreign doctor on a whole different continent. And then all of a sudden they broke up. Like, after like two episodes. So I'm like, what, wait, you, you know, if y'all wanted her back on Bravo so badly, we, you could have done a better job than this. You could have done a better job than this. Put her on something else. I mean, I know she's on literally everything else, but or just let her be, you know. Like I feel like we're we're not we're not talking about the like they need they need to hold her to the fire at the reunion. I want somebody to ask her, hey, remember when you accuse Candy of you know I won't say it because you know trigger warning, but of doing this to 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 women. Where do you stand on that? Why did you say it? Do you do you take it back? Have you apologized? You know what I mean, like some sort of accountability but that's not my job my job is to tune in I guess uh, and on that note I guess I'm going to tune out because I didn't take notes there was a lot happening this week um, Salt Lake City this 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 season was really good I enjoyed it Salt Lake City is 4 for 4 for me I have to say it's it's it, it was a sleeper hit for me like I never saw it coming and then I started watching it after the whole Jin Shaw thing and it's just they keep giving it to me and even this season like before the reality von t stuff it was just a good season it was fun to watch um but now that this one is closing um i wonder what's coming up next i guess jersey's been off for a while but i haven't seen any previews orange county just went off so it's not that atlanta just went off i feel like um i know i guess vanderbilt's coming back i heard What's coming next? What's the schedule like? Because who? Because Potomac. I feel like we're, we're getting kind of deep. Potomac, but we're still kind of you know middle ish, middle deep. But I know I just saw that. Um, um, Mary. I just saw Mary to Medicine was filming the reunion because <laughs> Andy was talking about Simone was yelling in his ear. So I know that has to be that means. That's probably, like, in, I feel like they shoot the reunion, like, two months before it airs. So I feel like if they're shooting the reunion now, that means this, this season will be done in March. So, like, what's going to come? I don't know. What's, I'm behind on Beverly Hills, which is a long story. I don't want to talk about it. Um, but besides that, what else is on? Beverly Hills, Potomac. Salt Lake City, right? Salt Lake City just ended. So what's coming next? What what were the girls? Should I Google it really quickly? May I? (laughs) Let's see. Um, which... Food's a little glitchy. Which housewives... Next, I should say our next, but they know what I mean. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Okay, with realityteen.com, I wonder if Monica runs this too. Okay, so which Real Housewives shows will here in 2023? Okay, this one says currently airing new episodes. Wait, what? What is this article? When is this from? August 8th, 2023. Girl, at least 2024. I'm like, this is... <laughs> we're not talking about the past. Uh, I gotta see what's... The microphone's making that sound right here and I'm about to fucking lose it. Um... Airing next. Uh, okay, here we go. Parade.com. Classic gaze. Here's when every Housewives franchise is coming back. Period. Thank you. Okay. All right. Let's, there's 10 franchises, 10 actor series, and nearly 100 total seasons of the books. Okay. 
Um, okay, so Salt Lake City. It says we'll wrap on January 23rd. Yep, saw that. Um, Beverly Hills. Fuck. What is that? I hope that doesn't wrap soon. I'm really sad if it does. Uh, okay, it should be around through the new year. Okay, good. Uh, my, see, I don't watch Miami. Maybe that's my problem. Is Miami good? If you made it this far in the video and you like uh, Housewives of Miami, let me know. I haven't watched it because <laughs> of personal re like th the person I used to watch it with, um, I don't want to speak to. Um, so I just didn't feel the need to watch it. But if it's good, I'll start from the beginning. Um, Potomac is on now. Girls Trip I don't watch. Maybe The Fault is Me. The Fault is Me. Uh, Dubai. I haven't seen that, but it says first half of 2024. Jersey. When is Jersey coming back? Until late 2024, early 2025. Holy shit. Um, okay, that's fair. Atlanta, that's probably not till fall, all right, like September. Wait, until 2025, that's not true. That's crazy. Orange County, that just ended. Uh, yes, on that. New York City. Um, they might need to just let that go, to be honest. Okay, so the thing is, nobody knows what's coming up next. All right. So, on that note, 